And mayors from the state's largest cities were in Sacramento today asking state leaders not to make cuts to a homeless program and to commit a billion dollars a year to it. ABC 10 News anchor Aaron Dickens shows us the reality of the homeless crisis here in San Diego. I am at the Maritime Institute in the Midway District, and you can see this is their outdoor training facility. They train thousands of students here every year, and it is right next to where the five and the eight intersect. And right next to their property, they have a big problem. For the last several years, uh, we've been inundated with uh, a pathway. Uh, that goes along uh, this is Caltrans property on the other side of our fence, on the other side of our parking lot. Dave Caltrans Abrams property. is the CEO of the Maritime Institute. The school trains people from across the country to work on ships. You can see how close the fence line is to their parking lot. Abrams says people living in the encampment yell at the students. Just threatening behavior uh, to the students. Uh, they'll get in uh, shouting matches, uh, you know, just screaming at them for no reason. And Abrams says that shows up on student evaluations after the course is over. Every student, do something about the homeless problem. Do something about the encampments. Do something about your parking so we don't need to park near crazy people. We also spotted people plugging in to the school's lampposts. Abrams also tells us there has been several fires at the camp and much more. Stealing property uh, from our training area. They're vandalizing our training area, covering it with graffiti. Um, it's, uh, it's a constant battle. Abrams says Caltrans used to clean up the camps and relocate the people living there. He says that stopped a few months ago. In a statement, Caltrans tells us, we were without a contract briefly that delayed our cleanups. We are currently working under a short-term contract, allowing us to do cleanups while we negotiate a longer-term contract. But officials were not able to provide the details on why they were without a contract. But Caltrans says under its short-term contract, that area is slated to be cleaned up. Aaron Dickens, ABC 10 News. Caltrans did not say when the area will be cleaned up. It added in part, when Caltrans prepares to remove an encampment that presents a threat to infrastructure or people, Caltrans coordinators notify social service providers of the estimated closure date and time. Those providers will conduct outreach to connect people with essential services, available shelter or housing options.